Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Social Media Review where we're looking at really topics that are trending on social media that moved from your timeline to the new Zoom or from the new Zoom to your timeline irrespective social media now forms the, a big part of um, the new Zoom or what is considered as news. So right now I am recording on um, on my camera and I am also doing a social media review on a live stream down here so it's a dual recording for YouTube and for Periscope so guys please let's have fun on Periscope you can engage ask me anything as I'm going through the topics on YouTube you know you're gonna just gonna have to you know bear with me follow me on my Periscope account on my um, it's my Twitter handle it's connected to Periscope. So let's start with the first topic. Let's see. Um, I think one of the biggest topics um, that came out this morning is the Falk uh, Falk von Den murders one of the suspects um, uh, committed. Um, uh, it's believed to have committed suicide, and so that was one of the big trending topics uh, this morning. Um, journalist and a friend of mine. Bonga tweeted, uh, Falk Fontaine murder suspect um, Ernest Mabasso has been confirmed dead, suspected suicide. Police say he was killed on 18 January while in Cape Town. You know, he's been confirmed dead, it's suspected to be a suicide, but as for his tweet, he says he was killed on the 18th of January in, 20, uh, in Cape Town. Um, he was facing other charges in Cape Town, that's why he was in Cape Town, even though the Falk, uh, the Falk Fontaine, Falk Fontaine murder happened in, um, in the Joburg, um, area. So, there's a tweet here, um, by D. Boodler. D. Boodler was, um, um, replying to, uh, Abramji, who is, a bit, like, I admire him. So, he's a, he's a journalist and he's an influencer and he's got a show on ENC about crime, so... If there's anyone to believe when it comes to, to crime stories, it's him. So he tweets, um, so uh, B. Lula says, I'm sure they were, uh, they were screaming in his head day and night. Jesus made their souls rest in peace, talking about the family who, who they allegedly murdered. You have to use allegedly. Uh, Nina, Nina's, um, Nina says, um, good news uh, given that our justice system would have given him uh, what uh, a parole. So he's saying it's good news it happened because the justice system could have given him a parole. And then there's Wesley Pipe. Wesley Pipe says uh, he saved us a lot of money, meaning that this guy's suicide or apparent murder saved um, the state or people of the country a whole lot of money. So that is what happened this morning in the court. It was a big story. And also in the big stories, um, Dudu um, uh, Zuma's um, son, uh, Dudu Zane Zuma, also appeared in court. He started in the Randbeck Magistrate Court where he was facing the homicide charges and then went to the crime Intel specialized criminal court in downtown Johannesburg where charges were withdrawn um, from that. Um, people say the NPA was not ready, that's why it was provisionally withdrawn. But our next topic has to be Gwen and Gwenya. A storm on social media erupted this morning when uh, this happened. So Gwen has resigned uh, from uh, the DA as um, head of uh, policy. He, ha she rather, has resigned and but will still remain um, the MP. So the leader of the DA, who is um, Musima Imani, tweeted, "I have accepted Gwen, uh, Gwen and Gwenya's letter for resignation as head of policy. She remains an MP. Wish, wish her well. I have, a pro I have processes which." is um, finalizing our policies on jobs. This will be expressed in our manifesto. This, it shows a vision of one South Africa for all. It's dynamic and uh, focuses on our future. That's what um, uh, Mr. Maimani tweeted. And the response to his tweets, uh, I'm gonna read one here by uh, Ben Bend or Street, saying that, so you ran a parallel po uh, process of policies of jobs without the knowledge of your team, uh, without the knowledge of your 
for the knowledge of your head of policy, or was she only playing a, a what a ceremonial position whilst you undermined her efforts by drafting parallel policies in cohort in co cohorts with uh, you know who? That is what people are saying on. Um, sorry about that. I need to adjust the lighting. That is what people are saying. Um, ga and the tweet sent out by um, the leader of um, the DA and another one by Eddie Funny Funny saying that you hired her so you could uh, parade her as a trophy whilst putting in place um, sh sh colored what while putting a clandestine process to develop policy without her knowledge that letter was just just exposed to the DA hypocrisy. So that was what um, uh, people were saying about Gwen. Now we know that in her resignation letter she did state that the DA rather spend money on useless posters, uh, billboards like the Life is a Demand billboard than really focusing on policies. That's why people are going on, on uh, going on about the policies when they are replying to Musi My Money's, Musi My Money's tweet. And moving to the last topic of the day, which is remember Mari, uh, remember life is Dimeni. So the, uh, the DA, uh, including Musi My Money himself, went to the office of uh, the Premier of Gauteng, David Makura, where they held a small memorial service to, uh, to remember the lives of those who passed away at Life City Many. And this is um, this was held today and uh, some members of the family, uh, I know one lady from the Mufugan family spoke about how her son died uh, and nobody, the family was not made aware of it, they only found out that he was buried somewhere in Nigel, you can imagine. So that was what happened today. And so the hashtag was remember Esitimeni. Uh, this is what people said responding to the DA's tweet. Um, Swiss said, see what happens when a party doesn't have a policy uh, a policy unit. <laughs> so people are going back to Gwen, Gwen's um, resignation. And then uh, Utando James is saying that desperate times call for desperate measures responding to the DA's um, memorial savers and then IG uh, at uh, Mosalo85 says so basically you will use whatever you can to gain political points and then this shows that you are clueless hashtag something I will not read out loud and fight uh, Nteto says Gwen and Gwen just did an honorable thing who's next so According to reports, this is the second head of policy who has resigned from the DA and we are heading towards the election. So it is a hard time for the DA camp. You know, a lot of um, a lot of um, negative social media coming out. I mean, when you look at the polls um, released by the IRR saying that, you know, they've, they've gone down, they've dipped in party support. Um, Ipsos, Ipsos also claiming that um, with their snap poll saying that they have dipped and the ANC seems to be making some form of traction when it comes to voter confidence. So my name is Naomi Klaou and welcome to Nkuru. This was a social media review. Thank you for joining me on Periscope. Thank you for joining me on Twitter. Um, it's not. Thank you for joining me on YouTube. So please do the honorable thing, like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I will be bringing you more of social media reviews on a daily basis. But tomorrow we are doing, we are only looking at um, the state capture inquiry, what you guys have been saying on social media. My name is Naomi Kroon, welcome to Mkulu. Guys, thank you so much for supporting me. Bye. And...